Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on the family of four north of uh, Marvel Town that lives in Marvel City, which who they live in a house. And uh, they went too hard, to be honest. Um, and then we took on the Marvel City Gym, we took on the trainers and the gym leader Watson. He used our trick Pokemon, we got the Dynamo badge from him for be from beating him in battle. So I have Metroid up front, okay, at level 22. Uh, here's a breeder, I think, so we'll talk to her. Please allow me to evaluate if you have raised your Pokemon properly. Okay, hopefully you find everything checks out. <laughs> okay, so these breeders have like six Pokemon. Yeah, jeez. Okay. So, let me see. I'm going to use Acid on this thing. Yeah, I did a little bit over half. That's good. Gives Crowd or Metroid's attack. Of course you are. This wing goes only level 12, but again, she has six Pokemon, so... We're in for a long battle, I guess, but that's okay. At least we're getting some experience. Golden will stay in. Let's go with the um, asset again. Let's go the also level 12. Look critical at nice. It's always appreciated. Shroomish, okay. Yeah, poison type moves are super effective on the grass type Pokemon, so why not just stay in? It seems like all the Pokemon are going to be level 12 though. Jeez, okay, a little bit over half. You need a Stun Spore. Okay, fine. There goes the ability that uh, Metroid has. Yeah. So the Shroomish, yeah, Shroomish goes down. Nice. It's, I think we're halfway through her, her team basically. Yeah, halfway through a team. Of course we are. Okay, let's go for that. Let's go for the asset again. There we go. Yep, Metroid's periodized. Okay, of course. Yeah. This is gonna be okay. So the result is just basically raising its special attack stat. So. That's fine by me, I mean, as long as it doesn't get too... Okay, now I'm kind of worried because I want to knock this thing out before it faints. Metroid and sweeps to impossible. Well, it's only level 12, what am I saying? Uh, we should still be good, I mean, not that big of a deal. Yeah, the acid should, this acid should finish it off. It's level 12. It goes down. Now Metroid's level 23, awesome. We'll switch to Nightmare. We'll switch to switch to uh, Geico. Okay, two more Pokemon left. Wow, Jeez, this battle is really long. Let's get the Bolt Seed. There we go. Nice. Skitty, okay, we'll switch to fighter because fighting type fighter has fighting type moves, so it's a good matchup against the Skitty. Skitty is female, so I have to make sure I try to I can use fake out first. Yeah. Flinch, okay. Yeah, let's go for the arm thrust then. There we go. That was easy. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we defeated uh, Pokemon Breeder uh, Wida or Linda. I didn't meet your dog, I'm sorry. Thanks for 400 Poké Dollars. So there's a triath triathlon guy there. He has a Dodrio. So I'm going to switch to Fire because he has a Rock Tomb. But again, Dodrio might probably knows Peck, so I have to watch out for that. We'll battle him real quick. I'm in the middle of a triathlon, but whatever. Let's have a battle. Okay, cool. It's, I thought you'd never ask, man. So this is a uh, triathlete, um, Dylan. He just has one Pokemon. She's the Doji at level 18. Cool. Let's go for the Rock Tube. I could have gone for Fake Out first. Jeez. Okay. I just realized that I could have gone for Fake Out first. Yeah, we'd probably be done with. I'd probably have this Doji deal fainted by now because I could have used Fake Out first. Okay, fine. We'll use a. Uh, Oh, come on, did one th over one third of Fighter's HP? Come on. Now I really wish I used Fake Out first. 
But anyway, after this battle, I'm gonna go back and heal the Pokemon Center anyway, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Yeah, fighters in the level 24, awesome. Cool, ready for your triathlon and Dylan, okay. I ran out of energy, sorry man, thanks for the 720 Pokemon dollars though. Really appreciate it. What fighter is evolving? I didn't know that Makuhi developed at level 24. I thought he evolved around like level 25 or 26 to be honest. But this is pretty cool. I believe this is my first Pokemon on my permanent, on my first permanent team member to which is Final Evolution. So yeah. Yeah, our fighter evolved into Hariyama. Nice. Cool. Let's go switch with um, Geico then. And uh, yeah, we'll put. We'll, I'm gonna go back to Pokemon Center, like I said. So I'll be right back. Okay, right back here. I went, went back to my Pokemon list. I guess to check in if uh, Larry one or two had an item that they picked up. But yeah, I've got coat front now. We heard about this breeder. This guy doesn't battle you right here. Um, I think you have a Dodrio too, probably. You're a triathlete, yeah. I do my triathlon training with Pokemon, so I'm pretty confident about my speed. That's good to know. It's always good to be confident about. Your speed, if you're a runner. Yeah. Uh, Tarathon and Maria. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, same case. They have a Dojo that's level 18. Uh, he, she has a Dojo that's level 18. Let's go for the pursuit. Let's see what she just does. Just about half. Okay. Oh, it's a pursuit war, huh? Well, I just have to use pursuit back. <laughs> nice. There we go, nice. Be a triathlete, uh, Maria. I need, I need to get more practices in. I guess. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're a hard worker. I can tell. <laughs> Thanks for the 720 uh, polka dollars. Okay, so he's a bug collector. Uh, yeah, bug maniac. I guess he's. Have, I think I'll have a beautiful in a dust dustox too. Once a bug catcher, once a bug catcher, and now a bug maniac. But my love for Pokemon remains unchanged. That's good to know. So yeah, he has a, like a dust ox and a beautiful eye, if I'm not mistaken. And a third Pokemon too, probably. Yeah, I see Pokemon. And Kado, okay. Let's go for the quick attack. This is only level 15, but still this Nikada could be trouble. And it's already low on Geico's accuracy, so that's not good. Okay. It's gonna be super effective. I'm gonna switch out to switch out to Metroid. Fury Surfs, okay. It's not very nice. Accurate, but wow. I really want Metroid to win Bubble Beam soon. I still don't know what level that's gonna be though, but I hope it's in the 20s. Um, let's go for the Supersonic. It hits, awesome. It's confused, hit yourself in confusion, please. Thank you. Haha. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's go for the acid. I think it's it's not gonna be very effective because it's half ground type, I just realized. Which kinda stinks. But I can try to poison it still, and it lowered its defense step by one stage there. That's awesome. Hit yourself confusion again. Haha, <laughs> yes. Let's go for the poison sting. I don't think acid poisons the opponent, but, so, but I know poison sting does. Snapped out confusion, okay. Yeah, this Nikata is really annoying. I, you know, the best way to fight Nikata if you have a fire type move or, you know, a, a water type move. But uh, I don't have any of those moves yet, so it kind of stinks. I might as well go back to using acid. It did a little bit more damage. <laughs> there we go. Okay, one. I th I'm hoping one more acid should do it. Uh, let's hope so. Yeah. Now that I think about it, I kind of wish my tentacle had the ability Queer Body instead of a uh, Liquid Ooze, whatever it's called. But, uh, whatever. I mean, it's whatever. But that's just me. I mean, it's whatever. Yeah, I, just, I already said that. Never mind. Whatever. Dust Docks. Okay, we'll switch to. Um, we'll switch to Geico, I guess. I don't have a fire type Pokemon yet to handle these stupid bug type Pokemon. But hopefully I do soon. Well, that's the, my, my next uh, team member, permanent team member will be a fire type, so that's good. So let's uh, use Pursuit, I guess. Did a little bit quick, nice. I'll take it. Confusion, okay. Oh no, Confusion has a 10% chance of confusing your opponent, so like, 
it still happens. I mean, every it happens every one out of every ten times, but still, I just I just want this dust ox to faint. Okay, that's, is that too much to ask? No, oh my gosh, Geico, come on. Oh, I know it's Gust, are you kidding me? Whatever. I'm gonna just trust that Geico snaps out of and it doesn't, yeah. Okay, that yeah, Geico fainted. Ah, oh, jeez, it's frustrating. Okay, I'm having trouble with this bug maniac, it's a crazy. Okay, man, if, you, if you don't have the type advantage, you're gonna struggle sometimes, and that's what's happening to me right now. I don't- Acid's not gonna do much, though. Cause it's half poison type, yeah. I hate this- I hate- Oh my gosh, confusion, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's gonna be super effective. Oh my gosh, the stupid bug maniac. It's not supposed to be that hard to take out a bug type trainer. But apparently, it's, that's not always the case. You can- They find loopholes, apparently, or find a way to win. Or be more intimidating than they are, you know? Okay, we can just try to- Defeat this dust ox, which you will actually, so that's good. This dust ox was annoying as heck. Jeez. Beautify. Okay, I'll switch to. I'll switch to Fido, I guess, because Beautify is a bug flying type, so that means it, um, is four times weak to rock type moves like Rock Tube. So let's try that. Let's try Fake Out first, yeah. Nice, okay, Flinched, awesome. Let's go for the Rock Tube. Okay, nice. Okay. We took Bug Maniac there. Cool. My interpretation also remains unchanged. Okay, cool. Uh, I think that's what you said. Interpretation or something. We got 900 Poké Dollars, so thanks for 900 Poké Dollars. We're almost to the next town, so hopefully... We should try to avoid this. Nope! Fail. Fail. Listen, can I get you to battle the Pokémon I'm raising? I guess so. Oh, this is another breeder. Oh, this breeder has like six Pokemon. Jeez. Okay, whatever. Wismer, okay. Switch over to Fighter. I mean, it would be best just to sw stay, stick with Fighter to handle these six Pokemon. But that's just means just Arm Thrust. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, cool. They're only like they're only gonna be like level twelve, so and fighters double their level, so this shouldn't be too hard. Taylor, okay, let's we'll stay in. Fake out doesn't work. Okay, yet. okay fine. Because tail is level twelve, let's use back to him then. This tail is being annoying. Nice. Yeah, I didn't even read where the next Pokemon would be. Oh, it's a Zigzagoon. Okay, fine. Let's just Arm Thrust then. Could have quite awesome. Yeah, okay. So, Fighter is just, he just has the type of advantage really on all, his, on all these British Pokemon real quick. So far, I should say. So yeah. Pushing in, okay, yeah, that's another type of advantage. Nice. There we go, nice. Margarita versus Hariyama, cool. Let's go for the arm thrust, I guess. There we go. Nice. Yeah, and I'm fighters level 25. Awesome. Your favorite breeder, Isaac? Cool. You've raised your superbly. Thanks. Thanks for 180 Poké Dollars, too. We really appreciate it, man. I can't believe Larry 1 or 2 haven't even picked up an item at all in this part so far. So, yeah, that should be the last trainer. Well, except I think there's maybe one more. But I want to stop by Verdant Turf Town. And heal up real quick. Okay, so after that, we should uh, be in good shape. 
Uh, which one's Wally's house, actually? Because I promised to go to Wally's house. Yeah, uh, Wanda's house. Is this, uh... Does that mean Wally's dead? parents, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I lost you, Steven, but I'm not feeling down anymore. Because I have a new purpose in life. Together with my roles, I'm going to challenge the Pokemon Gym, challenge Pokemon Gyms and become a great trainer. Please watch me, Steven. I'm going to be stronger than you. We'll see about that. When I do, I'm going to challenge you to another battle. Okay. You know it could be better than me though, Wally. I'm a, I'm a Pokemon master in training. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. What kind I am? Go and train your master, master in training. Yeah. Oh, Steven, Wally's next door. Uh, but boy, uh, there's something I have to tell you. The natural environment is doing wonders for Wally's health. Uh, maybe it's not just the environment. It could be the po Pokemon that are giving the boy hope. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, my daughter's boyfriend is a very driven, pers driven and passionate sort of person. He's been digging a tunnel non-stop just so you can see my daughter. My daughter is a little, con a little concerned, she's, she, so she goes out to the tunnel a lot. Interesting, we'll, go, we'll get to that tunnel in a second. You know, this rest of tunnel is what they're talking about. It's, I think, the, mix the, the, the mixture of, like, um... I'm not going to go out the contest all that. <laughs> But it's a mixture of, you know, Rushborough City and then, uh, uh, Verd and Turf Town since they both connect to this tunnel. It's called the Rush Turf Tunnel, like a combination of the two names. Yeah, Rush Turf Tunnel, linking Rushborough and Verd and Turf. The tunnel project has been cancelled, okay. Let's go inside it. Um, let's put a pearl on, I guess. I should buy more pearls, actually. That's what I need to buy. Okay, yeah. Um, oh wait, we don't even have to battle that person. Yeah, cool. What's this item? I forget. It's a Max Ether. Cool. I'll put that on my PC for later. Nice. Let's use Rock Smash right here. This is why I wanted to do this, um, challenge the gym first, because out once we beat Watson, we could use the HM06 for Rock Smash outside of battle. So yeah, I went, we'll use Rock Smash. Nice. Yeah. Wow, you start, you shattered that boulder block in the way. To show how much I appreciate it, I like to have this HM. HM04, which is strength. Which is the HM we're going to be teaching lately. Yeah, cool. That HM contains strength. I, um, if a muscular Pokemon w were to learn that, it would be able to move even the large boulders. Wanda, now I can see you anytime. That's wonderful. Please take some rest at my home. And then I go off to, uh, have, uh, be together, I guess. Yeah. We'll keep it rated G and say be together instead of, like, you know, the, you know, the, um, you know what you, you, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna stop there, okay, whatever. So, let's teach, uh, strength to, uh, wait, wait, real quick. Let's see, where we? Wait, once you're in strength, however, we already know it's four moves. Should move be deleted and replaced with strength? Yes. Which one should be forgotten? Let's get rid of tackle. One, two, and poof. We I forgot how to use tackle. And away we in strength. Cool. So yeah, I put a pal on already, that's nice. Who do I have up front again? I forget. I have a guy cut front, okay, cool. Let's take on this hiker. What do you call a wild man up in the mountains? A mountain man, right? So why don't you call a Pokemon in the po in the mountains a mountain Pokemon? Well, I guess we call it a mountain Pokemon to categorize it for Pokedex reasons, but you're right, I guess. You you know, you should tell Bulbapedia that and uh, see what they say. Let's go for the bolt seed though. The seed is level 16. But it goes down after one little bolt seed. Nice. Okay. Is the energy to this one also level 16? I don't know. I forget. Yeah, it's level 16. Nice. Let's go for the bolt seed again. Nice. Now I got cuz level 24. Awesome. Chop. Okay, we'll switch to um, we'll switch to Metroid. Okay, I'm a chop. Nice. Let's go for the acid. It's about one third, I'd say. Yeah, we'll kick it. That. Yeah, okay, whatever. What we'll kick does that? Yeah, it hurt Metroid a little bit. Did twenty H? Did ten HP? On Metroid, but yeah, defense was lowered. So hopefully, you're gonna uh, this Machop's gonna lower Mach uh, Metroid's defense stat by one stage. 
but hopefully another acid will faint it and it does awesome nice cool uh, my Pokemon ran out of uh, power. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for the 640 Pokemon hours, though. Okay, so. Oh, one picked up an item. Awesome. Forest store. Awesome. Nice. Let's switch over to uh, Metroid then. Let's switch to uh, Gecko Metroid. And this guy forgot his glasses. Uh, dropped his glasses. But in this sprite, he's wearing glasses. Jeez. So whatever. I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? One, two. Found a block glasses. Nice. Yeah, okay, I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? Those glasses, may I see them for a second? Uh, hmm, these are black glasses. They're not what I'm looking for. Maybe my glasses aren't around here. I don't know what it just follows up to anything else, but yeah. Here's another incident on the wall, um, which can make a secret base. So that's pretty cool. And then here's um, HP apparently. Cool. So, uh, I'm probably gonna put the black glasses in the PC because I won't be using them really. I don't think any of my Pokemon on my. Let me look real quick about my, on my final movesets of all my Pokemon. Yeah, according to all my Pokemon, um, in the final movesets, uh, I don't have any dark type moves really. So, the black glasses will probably. The black glasses and the max ether will probably go in, uh, my PC. But I wanna use an HP up on whoever has the lowest HP right now. I'm, I'm out of my permanent team members. So, let's see 56, 65, and 111. Let's, go to, let's give this HP up to Metroid then. Metroid's HP raised. So how much did it raise? Well, does it have to have full health to have it raised? Because like, I thought it already had 56 HP. Oh man, that stinks if it has to be fully healed or something. Oh man, that was my mistake then. I didn't know that. Oh, my power off. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna, um, I don't want I don't want to put on another power on because I'm kind of lazy. And it's a lot short, so I'm short of walk through. And um, yeah, I got through it. Get to that part without um having to you know uh run into a lot of Pokemon yeah so I'm gonna d uh, deposit um the Max Ether and the Black Glasses in my PC real quick and heal my Pokemon so I'll be right back. Okay, after doing all of that, we can continue on. Uh, I'm gonna backtrack to north of uh, Marvel City because that's where we're gonna go next. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. I think if you um, ride your bike along a certain like line, like right here, uh, it's a perfect like line for uh, catching eggs. Well, yeah, I think it goes from right here. I think it goes from right here to right here. I could be wrong. Let me see, because it goes on to the route west of um, of Marvel. Yeah, so it's like a really good route, for, really just a good straight line, especially for a mock bike because it can go faster. It's, it's a really good straight line to hatch eggs because you need a certain amount of steps to a. Uh, you know, hatch eggs, and it works on a bicycle too. Like, how many, how many times you move your bicycle, like pivot your bicycle forward or whatnot. So that's good for hatching eggs if you're into that. You need a hatch egg for. You actually get an egg in the game, like during your adventure. So it's a really good um way to um you know just hatch eggs quickly. Enough said right there. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna hop off my bicycle. I'm just I'm gonna run. Yeah. So up here we can use Rock Smash right here. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, where use Rock Smash, please. And, uh, sometimes there's a Geodude in those Rock Smashable rocks when you smash them, so be aware of that, so it doesn't scare you. So I'm gonna end the part right off here. Whoever I've run again, I think I've uh, yeah Metroid. Okay, cool. So um, I'm gonna actually switch Metroid to uh, Gecko and Fighter actually, just for reasons you'll see in the next part. So yeah. So this has been Jaco again. Uh, so this has been my Pokemon Ruby Rudy Lock that got part. Next part we'll do, we'll take on the rest of this route and hopefully make it to uh, Fall Arbor Town. Fall Arbor Town, or however you pronounce it. Which is, a, which is a, I think it's either Fall Arbor Town or Fall Arbor City. But it's a, I know it's, it's an area, it's a town or city where, um, you don't, where there's no gym. So keep that in mind. So yeah. This has been Janko again. I would like to say goodbye and I'm just to see you guys. Next time my Pokemon will be redo walkthrough guide.